Today I'll be talking about combining text in rows and also adding, let's say, a comma in between the, the text. So let's say, you know, in this first uh, column entry, I have data one, but then I want to add a comma followed by data two, followed by comma data three. To do that, I would first put equal because it's sort of like a formula. And I'm going to choose the first uh, cell entry, which is A1. So that'll get me the text from A1. But now, as I mentioned, I said I want to add, uh, what do you call it? The symbol uh, comma right between what the next entry is going to be. So what you'll use is that ampersand. And now you use the ampersand will separate it. And now I need to enter in text, so I write it as within quotes. So put quote, and you put uh, two quotes, and in, with, in the middle, put a comma. And so now the next thing is you will uh, want to put in the, the next column entry. So I'm going to put and, and I want what do you call it? B1. I could just select it like this or I could type it B1. And now again, I want to enter in a comma again. So first I put an ampersand to separate. I'll put two, uh, two quotes and within it, I'm going to put a comma. Finally, put another ampersand to separate that that text and finally I'll need the last column entry which is C1 again you can move the mouse over and just select it and so you can see the formula is equal to A1 the first entry and within double quotes comma and then B1 and you do the rest and once you press enter you can see now it's comma delimited once, it's, uh, once you have that formula and you want to do the rest, you can copy, control C. I'm pressing uh, shift and pressing the down arrow, shift and the down arrow, and then pressing control V. And that's it. Now I have everything combined from each column into one uh, cell entry. Hopefully that's what you wanted. Um, and then you can always reverse this if you wanted to. I'm going to go select the text and see if I can go to text to columns. Next, and comma. <laughs> Didn't work, but let me control Z because we have formula. Uh, maybe if I did something else, but that, that's a, besides the point. The whole point was me showing how I can combine data from different columns to have one cell entry. So I'm just combining three cells into one, but I'm making it comma delimited. And that's how I did it with this formula. And you can see for the second entry is just A2 equal to A2 and quote comma, quote, and B2s, and you continue that. So hopefully that makes sense to you. I didn't do a really good job explaining it, but I just learned this today from a coworker of mine. I didn't know how to, to I didn't know how to combine text and then enter in, let's say, some kind of delimiter in between. So that's it. I'm just going to post this. I don't think anyone's going to use it, but it'll be useful for me because I can come back and look at this at another time. Have a good one.